Hello all, welcome to Sun Compounding. This is Sandeep Anand. The single most factor usually in uh, you know that is impeding or that is stopping somebody from becoming rich or financially free is limiting beliefs. So limiting beliefs are uh, certainly impeding uh, one to reach richness or uh, achieve financial freedom and these could have been developed in one's life at any stage you know it could be uh, well uh, deeply pervasive since childhood because of the way we grew up or it could be certain circumstances that has developed during one's life's course and uh, it's very important to get rid of these limiting beliefs. Now the good news is these limiting beliefs can be gotten rid of through persistent planning and practice and in this video I'm bringing up the topmost five uh, limiting beliefs that is uh, existing and that's prevalent and uh, how to overcome these limiting beliefs and I just put a tabular view to see what are these limiting beliefs and how to overcome this hope this finds it useful so here is a table that shows all the limiting beliefs and how to overcome that and these are five prominent deeply pervasive uh, you know limiting beliefs that is existing today in the society and uh, slightly twist, giving a twist to the way we look at it slightly changing our perception towards that would help us overcome these limiting beliefs and really if we overcome these limiting beliefs with uh, positive thoughts we should be able to make richness in life the first limiting belief that's prominent is money can't buy happiness now that's a very uh, you know kind of an accepted norm in the society and uh, just let's look at it like this instead money can buy time and freedom which can liberate one from financial stress because uh, one doesn't have to do the job which they like or may not like to survive and we uh, human beings have to give time for the survival and get the money from the job the employers that's offering the job that or the work that we do now we don't need to really do that any longer and we can do spend time our time valuable time uh, doing the things that we like maybe it could be for the improvement of the society it could be for our improvement ourselves whatever that is but it, it gives happiness by doing the work that we love daily and that is an extreme happiness that is a one of the more number one factor that causes people to be happy uh, instead of doing mundane monotonous work and uh, that that is it so it, money can buy happiness indirectly that way by giving us the time and liberate making us liberated to do what we love every day the second one uh, limiting belief is uh, you have to do hard work to make money for rest of the life there is no shortcuts which i agree to great extent while uh, you know with the i don't deny that hard work or smart work is important uh, to uh, gain success in life and to achieve uh, financial wellness we should also look at doing the best work out there instead of worrying too much about uh, hard work if we do the best work uh, you know it is not bound on time or any other things you know effort doesn't directly is doesn't it's not directly proportional to the amount of time we spend you know effort could be intensive enough within the stipulated time but we do the best work during that stipulated time with deep involvement and full passion and rigor that can produce the best work and that can lead to the success so it does not mean that you know hard work is always effort intensive and uh, it could be the it just means that the best effort has to come for us from us and um, it could be uh, stressed efforts within uh, when it's coming to the time and uh, it has to be chosen by us but the work if we chosen by us and uh, if we put the best efforts there it can reward us with uh, you know immense things in life and uh, it also helps us to solve major problems by putting the best efforts out there so a slight twist you know in perception the way we look at it these problems it helps us to overcome these uh, hindrances and uh, work towards building the best work and richness uh, for us as well as towards a society the third bigger one is limiting belief is aim always smaller with how much we need too much money is hard to manage in life again this is another limiting belief which makes people to be uh, you know to pertain to uh, be happy with what they have to have just enough money to take care of their daily needs and most people don't dream big with their financial goals as napoleon hill uh, who wrote the book think grow think and grow rich had put it across human minds can achieve only what it can perceive or dream or visualize and this is reiterated and harped by many 
great billionaires and many great successful people in life that you know human minds need to perceive or dream big and visualize big only then they can achieve the minds can achieve that we'll work towards achieving that only if we get enough money we can serve the society doing big things by uh, giving our time and effort so we need to be daring to dream big and create uh, dream to create big wealth to create to solve big problems in society and even smaller problems in society we could do that only if we have the time and uh, if you have the ability to do that and we can get that time and ability only if we are financially free and can spend time enough to solve those problems in the society even uh, to solve problems within our own life we need that time and dedication from ourselves which we can dedicate only when we have uh, the liber liberation of freedom to do what we want so one small way to twist our mind uh, or thought process here is don't think that just enough money to take care of our daily needs uh, that's sufficient for us for the rest of our life that will make us you know bound bind towards doing the work we and monotonous work and jobs for the rest of the life we will never be able to achieve that financial freedom or the financial goals for that matter so just enough Uh, money to do and to survive daily is a really a wrong way to look at leading a strong life leading a successful life uh, it's great that we think uh, that uh, it makes us happy to be uh, successful to be uh, you know just enough money is required and it makes us feel comfortable but at the same time it does not liberate us to do and achieve many more things in life so uh, it's a it's a thought process that we need to really uh, think about and change uh, to achieve greatness the next thought process is the limiting belief is being rich is not being fair to the other poor in the society and money is root of all the evil again this is a limiting belief we all picked up in the childhood uh, you know from our parents from the teachers from uh, big people elders in the society again this is not a great limit i mean the great belief to have it does not help us anyway and uh, yeah of course money has lot of uh, uh, you know evil associated with it but it has all the more also a lot of uh, positives and pluses associated with it so we, it is always like a trade off like in any other thing in life there are two sides of the coin we should look at it that way so being rich enables us to serve the society as well which is a very positive thing and it helps us to help the needy with more good things uh, it gives the ability to solve problems in the society like education of children who can't afford it creating jobs for a lot of people if we are uh, having a lot of money we could start do the startups we can set up the companies industries we can give more jobs we can solve many problems so it's not always to good to look at just one evil side of the problem you know or bad side of the problem that money is root of all the evils uh, but <clears throat> and being rich is not fair but being rich helps us to bring uh, to address many of those uneven uh, you know things and make it even kneeled and uh, that's one way to look at it and the last limiting belief is too much money will destroy peace and life again this is a negative prejudice that will prevent one from becoming rich for most of the billionaires that we study money only gives them the financial freedom and the ability to do constructive things they love like philanthropy like any other spectrum of life being rich also has two sides of the coin like good and bad so there are people who destroy peace due to over indulgence and arrogance but majority of people who are successful like in the forbes list are known to solve larger problems than themselves in the society so that is a positive way to look at it so it's a just by tweaking a little bit of perception and limiting beliefs that we have in, you know imbibed in our minds uh, deeply ingrained in our minds from childhood it's difficult to change it in one day but through rigorous practice and positive thoughts right actions we can achieve great results in life